My name is Jens Hoffer and I'm the mental coach for uh, NIP and uh, I'm currently working with the LCS team down here in Berlin. Uh, I've previously worked with sports teams and uh, athletes. Uh, I started working with eSports in January this year and uh, I started working with Fnatic uh, which was a really good experience and then uh, I got introduced with uh, NIP from, uh, with the help of uh, Nico and uh, since it's close to home uh, everything worked out and it was a good fit so I decided to uh, join uh, NIP and I'm really happy for it. I first started working with Jan Sofer, uh, our mental coach in Fnatic for Spring Split when I built a new roster for Fnatic. Um, I had like a two hour phone call with him and I just knew that this was the sort of guy that I wanted to have in my staff and the sort of guy that I wanted to work with. Um, through our time in Fnatic, me and him had a really, really good working relationship and we had a lot of similar ideas and values on what actually makes a good team environment, like what sort of structure you should have, like what is actually important, like anything from physical activity to what you eat to mindset to like thinking about the right things and trying to come together as a team. I think the biggest difference with uh, working with uh, eSports and, uh, and regular sports is the duration of the time that you work. Uh, in regular sports you have short spurts, you have three to maybe two to three hours where they, they work intensely. And, uh, but in eSports you have long days and uh, long hauls where they have to keep concentration. So it's more intense in that way. Uh, not so much physically, but really, really intense mentally. So you have to take that into account and work around that. My main focus with helping the team is uh, kind of depending on and what phase that we're in. Uh, in the beginning when we came in, the, the main focus was establishing positive routines in our daily, uh, daily work. Uh, right now, it's uh, probably maintaining a, a good stability and a, a good atmosphere so that we are still able to, to maintain a good workday. Uh, the atmosphere right now is, uh, of course, uh, not, not at its best because uh, our record is, uh, is what it is. Uh, we've lost quite a few games this, uh, this split, but uh, at the same time, I'm really happy with the, with the guys because they're hanging in there and they're actually uh, still able to work and we're still able to have productive days, which is really important for us right now as we go into the most important stretch of our split. Uh, going into relegations, we really want to be ready for it. So I think the guys are doing really good. I'm proud of them for actually hanging in there in, in the current situation, and I think that we're actually going to be okay. Uh, for us, the daily routine looks something like this. We uh, have wake up time and being ready time at 11 o'clock. Uh, I'm usually here a little bit before that uh, to do my preparation for the day and preparing who I want to talk to and uh, what I'm going to talk about. And also preparing what I want to do with the team as far as the mental stuff goes. Uh, once 11 o'clock starts, I usually take the players that I want to talk to individually. I take them by turn uh, when they're playing solo queue, whenever they have time. And then we usually go through our stuff individually. And then once we start going, we usually uh, have our practice time at one where we uh, play our scrims against the other teams. So half an hour before that, we do our pregame meeting. And that's where I start with uh, going through my mental stuff. And then uh, Nico jumps in and uh, goes through the in-game stuff. Uh, in between the games, we always have reviews where we uh, go through the games and uh, talk about what we want to do for the next game. So we have two main screen blocks uh, that last three hours that we work with on a daily basis. And in between the screen blocks, we go outside for a daily activity where we get some fresh air like you've seen before. Uh, and that, that actually is a good thing for us and has uh, shown to be really, really healthy for us. The relegation is coming upon us, so we have a, about a month to prepare for it. Uh, and I think what's been really important for us with the coaching staff is that we are realistic about the situation and we are going into it with, as, a, as a positive goal instead of seeing it as something negative. Uh, and that's the way we try to motivate the guys right now. And, and the guys have actually taken it upon them and, and feel better about the situation and seeing it as for what it is instead of trying to, to avoid this situation. 
So that's the, the approach that we have right now and I think it's working out. Uh, once this split is over, I am immediately going to start working with uh, the CS team. Uh, I'm really, really excited about the opportunity. I haven't gotten to meet the players yet, so that's going to be uh, an exciting thing for me. And I'm going to be able to watch some of the games that they have in DreamHack in Malmö. So I'm really looking forward to that. And I'm looking forward to sitting down with Johan and uh, Björn and uh, actually going through what, what we want to do and uh, create a plan for how we want to approach this.